before I got saved, I had no problems in my life. Everything I did was okay and everything was all good. There was no mountains in my life. I was enjoying life and my life was perfect, I thought. The second sentence that came out of my mouth, the first words after I asked Jesus Christ to come into my life and forgive me of my sins was, I've got a drinking problem. That mountain wasn't there until Christ revealed that there was a mountain. So don't think just because now I've asked Jesus Christ into my life, everything is rosy and I will never have any problems and everything is okay. It wasn't until I asked Jesus into my life that I even had the eyes to see that I had a problem. And I didn't know anything, so what did I do? Ask someone to pray for me. And instantly, my drinking problem was gone. If you are a drunk and you drink as much as I did and suddenly you don't, and you didn't do anything except ask Jesus into your heart, someone prayed for you, oh my gosh, has he got my attention? 35 plus years afterwards, he's still got my attention. I cannot deny those things in my life that changed when I asked Jesus to come in. My life didn't become perfect. It didn't answer all my problems. It didn't answer all my questions. But every mountain that has propped up, he has been the one who's helped me bring that mountain down. And he will do it for us all. There's not special people. I thought already does it for him. This is for all of us. If you try and do these things in your own strength... Now, I'm, I'm, I'm an absolute advocate for programs and ministries and, and teaching. But if you try and do these things, try and overcome these mountains in your own strength, it can cause some people to give up because they cannot move it. We all know people like this. They blame God and others for their failures to overcome. Every one of us has a mountain that will pop up in front of us at some stage. Some mountains to you, I can look at it and go, eh, that's a Pimple, what are you watching about? That's not a mountain, mate. This is a mountain. When we try and do it in our own strength, I'm not saying about not going, getting help and getting, uh, going through programs, getting counselling or whatever, going to a doctor, whatever. Well, I'm not saying that. I'm not saying don't throw everything out. But sometimes we try so hard in ourselves that we don't succeed. And I, seriously, we all know people who no longer walk with God because they couldn't overcome that mountain. And I can tell you now that that fault, that, that failure is not God. It's not God. There's things in our life that stop us. Just the fact that those people would walk away from God shows you where they were at. And I really feel for people who have struggled and struggled and struggled with thin, things in their lives. But God is the answer. He is the only way. And I can't tell you if you pray right now that it will be fixed instantly. There's some things in my life that were fixed miraculously instantly. There's other things that I've had to work through with God and with others to outwork those things. <clears throat> 